What's up everybody? Well, I'm out here today and I'm gonna go sockily fishing, or at least I'm gonna try. I've tried three times, but I haven't hit this back part. I've been hitting back up there by the culvert up there, but uh, I've been hearing stuff busting there, but they're too far in for me to reach them. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show y'all how and why I fish stumps because sockily relate to structure and that's just what they are. And uh, it's perfect conditions for sockily overcast kind of nasty field day it's been foggy but uh hopefully we can get them i got my bass stuff just in case they don't want to cooperate but i'm gonna go hit some stumps and we also got some rock you can see the rocks right there you can see the rocks up along the bank and this is kind of new they put this out here not too long ago because they're building up the levees as you can see they're building up the levees down here but uh let me get to it let me rig up i'm gonna show y'all what i'm using and uh what i'm gonna do and uh let's get it all right so i uh, basically i get a lot of questions about like how i catch sockley i actually had a guy the other day asked me to bring him and everything so i will and i'll uh, teach him what i know but uh that's an old kit i have you could look at this old kit i i really don't even use too much out of here but i mean they got good baits that's a good bait i mean all this stuff is good baits and it will catch fish but uh i'm just kind of a person that likes to use stuff like this got a bobby garland panfish assassin when the water's a little bit clearer this thing is dynamite this is what i think i'm gonna use today big bites because the water's kind of stained and can't really see that good so i want something bright and dark so i can kind of cover both i might try this later i know they're eating little shad so that's perfect so is the one i showed y'all earlier and then i got the mo glow that orange i might try that got some of the matrix shads uh, these are green and black. That's kind of like that. Might try that. Got the blue and white. Got uh, some of these. I caught a bass on these the other day. And I got some different size and different color jig heads. So, so we're going to try to work our way through the process. And hopefully we can get them. I'm going to start off with the big bites. We're going to try these first. And uh, I'm going to walk down a little bit. Hit a stump. That's what I'm gonna do. Wind's blowing this way, so maybe around the back side of there be a current break where them sockley might sit up in the ambush. So we're gonna see in a minute. All right. All right, not what I wanted, but nice bass. Wait, let me see him. Hold on. I changed it up to the shad looking bait as soon as I threw it out there, first shot. There we go. Nice bass on a tube jig. Well, on a little minnow bait, Bobby Garland, like it dude. You wanna let him go? Yeah. Don't drop him in the water. He don't have teeth. Make sure you hold him tight though, okay? Okay, no, 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 let him go over here. We got a little Tony, let him go away to fish, get him close to the water, and then just put him down. He'll swim off. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, well. Goes to show you. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, there we go. All right. Got a little bass. A little chunky bass. Not what I'm looking for. But out here popping this little bait around. Maybe about a foot, foot and a couple inches. I need a cork. Got one. All right. Yep. There we go, huh? Ooh. You just put them on the side or what? Where? Why, how you keep your fish you there? you letting them go? No, no, I got fuck no, I got one hooked up on the thing. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna let this fucking beautiful thing go, man. Look at that, man. Look at it, man. It's beautiful, hey, bro. Hey, we got 
There we go. He's fucking beautiful. Look at him. There's another one over there. He's big. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got... fucking big, man. There you go. You gonna let me have that? Yeah, man. I ain't keeping nothing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I got you, man. Man, I wasn't... I, man, I was like, man, I've been coming here trying to catch him. And it's just been, you know, not really good over here. Shit. So I was like, man, I'm gonna walk the backside. You don't have a light on that to make you beat you? Uh-uh. No? No. Sorry, guys. I ain't had more fish catches for y'all, but it's just kind of been like that. I ain't really had a lot of time, and i also been doing a lot of hunting. I've killed some hogs lately, but other than me working and taking care of the kids, and I ain't really done a lot of fishing. So this is kind of the most I've done. I've only been a few times, and I, I mean, I've caught fish every time I went, but it's only been like one or two, and I've only been going for like an hour. So, you know, it's just time restraint, you know. It's kind of aggravating. So, yep, it's just kind of one of those things. And I finally caught a socklet. The socklet was nice. It's about 11, 12 inches, all of them. And uh, I just so happened to walk up from the back trying to fish some stumps. And I didn't have any luck at the stumps. Nothing on the rocks. I had one bite on a worm. Uh, but it was going down. I went to set the hook. He wasn't even there anymore. He just hit it and spit it. Hit it and spit. So, I don't know. Tomorrow I'm going to Myrtle Grove Canal, if you don't know what that is. It's along Highway 23 in Plaquemines Parish. And pretty much you can go stand on the bank over there and you can fish, but you got to pay money. Or you can take a kayak or a little flatboat or anything. So if y'all want to go catch some redfish and trout, that's the place to go. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like it. Drop a comment. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow or whenever that video comes out later